Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. In the past, we've taken a look at a lot of awesome mods for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, but I personally think that what we're going to be taking a look at today trumps a hell of a lot of them. If the title of this video hasn't given it away already, we're going to be taking a look at a brand new free camera tool for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on CMU Emulator. This tool is available to download and use right now it works on the latest version of Simu Emulator, also you require the latest version of Breath of the Wild. And as you can very clearly see, I am at any moment of gameplay able to move my camera independent of Link outside of gameplay. And this free camera mod not only allows you to do that, but it also allows you to do something that I think is so, so cool. Swapping back into my regular camera with the hotkey for it, let's just get into a little cutscene here with one of the fairies for upgrading. Now once I'm in the cutscene, I'm going to hit the hotkey again and show you something that's super awesome. Not only can you use a free camera when in open gameplay, you can also use it when inside of cutscenes, which opens up a hell of a lot more, especially so since there are a lot of different things rendered when in this cutscene mode. The free camera also allows you to clip through terrain which allows you to see things that would previously be unseen, for example the bottom half of fairies or inside any secret buildings that do not currently have entrances in normal gameplay. Using this tool is also super super easy and it's really really easy to set up also. Zooming out quickly, I'm going to show you exactly how to utilize it. Now as you can see, this is just CMU emulator, it can be easily set up by following one of my setup guides. When I open my main CMU folder, you can say I have these two extra files, the Breath of the Wild Freecam EXE and the Breath of the Wild Freecam DLL. You want to download and place both of these files into your main CMU folder, and once you're on the latest version, you can click the EXE for the Freecam. This is going to activate this console window, and this basically means that it is perfectly working. So I'm just going to put my CMU window a little bit over here and I'm going to get my free cam console and move it just over here so you can still see the shortcuts and exactly what they do. You can see we have control over the activation of the free cam. We have the camera movement, height, FOV control, rotation, change movement speed, acceleration for the camera and this hotkey allows you to unlock the camera which means you can move link instead of the camera but use a fixed camera in gameplay. You can see here I've activated the free camera by hitting F1 or pressing L2 and circle on my control pad. This allows me to move around the game world as freely as I want. I can see a ton of people making some really, really cool cinematics with this tool, especially so if you're using a HUD removal tool to remove the hearts from the top left hand corner. Now, as I showed before, you can just move around the game world, accelerate using the A button on my controller, and as I also previously showed with the fairy, you can clip inside of geometry, go below the surface to see that indeed water is rendered everywhere and is pulled up from the water plane when necessary for lakes, seas, rivers, uh, you name it. But there are a lot of other really interesting things you can also do with this tool, especially so some really cool stuff that I can see people making really really cool cinematics with. Now one thing that I should note is that at least currently this free camera tool does have a distance range. We should start running into it just before we reach these trees over here. Yeah, you're going to see the camera is going to start rubber banding back. That basically means that the distance from Link, you can see I'm on this rock over here. That's basically the distance you currently have with the free camera. That's how far you can move around. Now there should be NPCs here, but I believe the draw distance for the free cam is based on Link's position, not the actual camera itself, so maybe that's something they'll be able to change in future. But you can see a Link is rendered over here, and now I'm going to show you the unlocking the character mode, which is also something I find really, really cool. Now by pressing F7, it locks the camera in place, but I'm able to move Link around the game world and do pretty much everything you can normally do in gameplay. One thing it should be noted is that you aren't really able to use your bow and arrow in this mode, but as you can see, I am able to run Link around the world, get moblins and bokoblins to chase me around, and pretty much do anything else that I would normally be able to do in gameplay. You're able to fight, kill enemies, basically as I said, do anything that you would normally be able to do in gameplay. One thing I've noticed is that locking on doesn't really seem to work unless the fixed camera is really, really close to where you and the enemies are. But again, that is just a limitation of the current version of this tool, so maybe it's something that will change in future. 
Playing the game in this fashion is definitely very, very interesting. Probably not something everyone's going to want to do. And if you don't enjoy it, you can always yeet yourself out of there and get back to exactly where I started. Where again, I can just re-enable my free camera and move around the game world if I wish to do so. Again, if I want to go back to normal gameplay, I can hit the activation hotkey, which is F2 or pressing L2 and circle on my gamepad and resume normal gameplay from where I began. Now, as I said, this tool allows you to do a lot of things, especially so in relation to cinematic making, boundary breaking, or just generally looking around the game world. And while tools like this have been available to some people for a while now, it's really, really awesome that this is now available to everyone in the public absolutely for free. As I already said, you'll find a download link for this down in the description of this video. You're looking for Etra's GitHub page, you'll see releases on the right hand side of the page. The version I'm using for this video is version 0.2.2. .2. This was released about 3 or 4 days ago and hopefully we're going to see even more improvements to this tool in future. As I also said, they do recommend running this on CMU 1.22.2 I believe. But I've been testing and this video was made using the latest CMU version which is 122.8 at time of making this video and it seems to work pretty much perfectly on that version also. If you don't have CMU emulator already set up on your system, you will find my full and complete setup guide for it linked down in the description of this video. That guide's gonna show you how to get the emulator downloaded, set up and get Breath of the Wild running at the best possible performance levels. Now, as I said, this free camera tool does indeed let you control the camera even inside of cutscenes. However, some of them are a little bit buggy. Those ones I found that are buggy are the ones with an already moving camera. It seems that when you move the camera independent from the already moving camera, it kind of bugs out and gives you this weird flickery effect. So that's just something you should all be aware of. As always, if we get any updates to this free camera tool, especially so stuff that adds extra functionality to it, I'll be sure to let you guys know as soon as possible, so if that kind of thing interests you, make sure you're subscribed to my channel to get updates on cool mods just like this one. For anyone looking for any news in relation to CMU Emulator itself, keep your eyes peeled on the channel over the next few days. I'm going to be covering the last month and a half's updates to this emulator in a video probably tomorrow, so as I said, make sure you're subscribed for that one. That's going to be it for this video guys, once again thank you all very much for checking it out, I greatly appreciate it. As always remember to like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see all future videos from me.